Hello everyone, today we will see what are the parameters that are required in wing design process and uh, how do we relate that to different aspects of the design. Okay, So, basically the principles and methodologies of system engineering are followed in the wing design process. So, there are certain limiting factors in uh, design process. So, limiting factors in the wing design approach. They originate from factors like uh, design requirements such as performance requirements then stability and control requirements. Then producibility requirements like how do we manufacture this. Then operational requirements then flight safety requirements so instead of writing safety write flight safety requirements okay so, major performance requirements basically this includes a lot of interesting things okay, which are related to aerodynamics then uh, performance of the aircraft and all that. So, basically performance requirements they include the stall speeds then maximum speed. of the aircraft then what is the takeoff run then what is the landing run then for what range of the aircraft must be operating then what is the endurance of the aircraft so, whereas primary stability and control requirements okay they can be listed in some fashion like uh, lateral directional static stability okay then longitudinal stability aircraft controllability Okay, then maneuverability of that aircraft, you right. During design process, eighteen parameters. must be determined okay they are basically as follows so the very first one would be wing reference area so aeronautical and aerospace engineers very often use the term called plan form area so plan form area of the wing is denoted by s so, it is nothing but the, the area projected area as we see from of the wing as we see from the top view when the wing is kept at zero angle of attack. Okay. Then the next design parameter would be what is the number of wings this airplane you want to add. Okay. Like 
monoplane, biplane or triplane. Then what is the vertical positioning? What is the vertical positioning of the wing relative to fuselage? For example, whether you want to keep the wing high, that is high wing or mid wing or the low wing. What is the horizontal positioning of the wing? Relative to fuselage. Then, what is the type of cross section or different cross sections also we can use. So, the cross section of the wing is nothing but in, we can label it as airfoil. Then, the aspect ratio of the wing, it is denoted by AR. Then, taper ratio of the wing, it is denoted by lambda. Each and every parameter has its advantages, disadvantages and how it is computed and where it is located, all those aspects. It is an amazing study. Each and every bit we are going to explore in a nice beautiful way. Okay. So, you have tip cord denoted by CT. Then you have to know what is the root cord of the wing, that is CR. Then The mean aerodynamic cord of the wing the mean aerodynamic cord of the wing it's denoted by MAC or C bar. Then the wing span that is the distance from tip to tip then the twist angle. So, what is the geometric twist or more about the wash in or wash out feature that we very commonly refer to it as and it is denoted by the symbol alpha t. Okay. Then the sweep, what kind of sweep? you want, whether you want the uh, forward sweep, the backward sweep or what is the angle of sweep, the leading edge sweep, what is the quarter cord sweep, what is the half cord sweep, what is the trailing edge sweep. So, there are different sweep back angles. Then, then we need to know what is the dihedral angle. It is denoted by the symbol capital gamma. Then the incidence of the wing, it is the wing incidence, so it is denoted by IW. So, or you can say it is the wing setting angle with reference to the fuselage. So, it is also termed as alpha set. Okay. Then the next parameter would be what kind of high lift devices you want, means the different types of uh, what kind of uh, flaps, okay, slats with multiple slots or double slot or plain flap or jet flap, what kind of flaps you want. Then we will be requiring on a wing for lateral control we require ailerons which will be mounted on the wings, so they are part of the wings. Then we have some other wing accessories. So these are the 18 param design para wing design parameters which one 